Uh, just about done. Two more miles left, left guys. That's ten miles. We got uh, a little over uh, eight miles, eight point three. Second half has gone a little bit faster. Did a couple walks in the first half. Second half, I wanted to really kick it up. Kind of really talk to you about that massage, percussion massage area. Seemed to really help out today. I'd worked about 10 minutes on my hamstrings and quads, and, and it really made my legs feel pretty good for a run today. So I definitely will be doing that uh, on a daily basis there. I think it's a good massage tool. Uh, kind of a additional thing that you can do with, like with foam rolling. All right, let's see y'all at the end. Trying to see if I see any deer. Sometimes I see deer along here when I run. It might not be late enough for the deer to be out stirring about. All right, guys, we're back uh, from the 10 mile run. And I'd like to kind of give you the breakdown from the Strava. I did use the Strava app uh, on my watch. It seemed to go really well. I had to get a little used to it with the a difference with the Nike app, you, it, it uh, tells you verbally what, what uh, your your mile, whenever you complete complete a mile, or whenever also whenever you um, um, what average pace you're doing. So I didn't do that, which is okay. I, I did seem to like it, uh, and I, I do like the website as well. So I'll kind of give you uh, insight on the website here. I'll turn the camera around right quick here, so that way you can kind of see. I don't know if. Focus in pretty good. That's the breakdown on the mileage. Um, you can see that third mile, I did walk on that mile there. Uh, fourth mile, I did pretty good. Uh, uh, fifth mile, I walked again. Sixth through tenth mile, I decided just to just to give it a good pace there. So uh, my best mile there was um, 8.04 uh, on the eighth mile. I uh, definitely like to kind of push it there and the I think it ended up being an average about 940 minute pace on that run there too so I think it was, it was a good a good run there um, I come over towards this way <clears throat> um, definitely like to share with you guys a, um, with my running experience especially endurance running it's it's been kind of a long haul I, I started in my 30s actually running a uh, long distance my first half marathon was uh, the Corpus Christi um, um, Corpus Christi Half Marathon. Uh, it's um, it's the Harbor Half, and so it goes over this bridge. And uh, the first time I ran it was was actually pretty kind of a bad experience. I had some IT band syndrome, which is iliotibial band, and so it, it's a big long band that attaches to the outside of your hip and goes. Uh, all the way down to the outside of your knee there too, so they can cause quite a bit of pain. Uh, around mile five, or around mile eight, I believe, if, if I remember uh, correctly, I started having a lot of pain uh, on my right side, um, and then it started increasing. And actually, my other side starting started to cause pain. So uh, this is actually a pretty tough race. By the time you get down to mile eleven, you have to go back over the Harbor Bridge, which is even steeper. Uh, starting off so that was pretty tired and I was uh, not well trained on my first time going on so definitely I was in a lot of pain with that so uh, definitely experienced in IT band syndrome so it, it can be very quite painful I was uh, pretty sore and painful for 
for a while. I actually, uh, next day at work, I uh, um, walked in the, the clinic I was working at limping a little bit. And so uh, at that point, I really thought hard if I really wanted to do long distance running. I had been doing some half, uh, you know, some 10Ks, 5K, 5Ks, and the that went really well, um, but then, then the next year, I think it might have been, that was in 2008, 2010, is actually when I ran the, the Corpus Christi um, Harbor Half again. Uh, went a little better, I still had the IT band syndrome, and so, uh, you know, after that I only ran a couple other half marathons, and so I didn't run long distance uh, for a while until here recently, back in 2017. Um, uh, we relocated to Arkansas, and, um, and they have a wonderful race here in Arkansas called the White River uh, Marathon in Cotter, Arkansas. It's a great race if you haven't done it yet. It's it's a fast race. It's a downhill start, and it's straight. It's a really good race if you want a good time. And that was the first uh, um, half marathon I've done in had done in five years. So I, I did pretty well with it. I still was. Um, not well trained and you know had to walk and had a little bit of pain and I started doing a lot of strength training hip abduction strengthening I was a little weak in hip abductors that we had uh, we call it hip AD, uh, adduction adduction um, uh, where whenever we uh, land on one leg the opposite hip dips down and so that caused a lot of tension on your knee and your hip there too so I started doing some strengthening with that and that that has helped out quite a bit, and um, and then I and definitely running 13 miles is is definitely a little bit more comfortable now than it was, you know, back in 2008 when I first ran my first marathon, the Harbor Half. That, that was <laughs> uh, one thing I did learn is not to wear a cotton shirt. And if you've never if, if you have not experienced that, I do have a picture of myself and I was a little bloody from 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 the uh, cotton shirt there too so definitely wearing the proper gear i think is <laughs> is important there too i think that was uh, uh i laugh about that every time i share, uh, see that picture i have to definitely share that picture at some point there too so uh, after my first uh, half marathon it looked horrible i, I looked like it just went through the uh, ringer there <laughs> with uh, lots of lots of pain and and did not know what i was getting into with the with the half marathon but now since i've been doing a lot of mileage and train myself you know and i'm doing uh last week i did 54 miles and i was able to turn around and do four miles after you know 18 miles and do 10 miles today so i think definitely i'm getting my body is getting used to to all that mileage there too with with less less injury because i'm doing uh running smarter as well as um um doing different types of runs throughout the week also doing some little bit of strengthening exercise and we'll have to do a, a, a a video about uh, what exercises and strengthening stuff I'm, I'm doing and that would be good good to do there too so I hope you enjoyed this video I, I've been really enjoying doing this I, I did post my first video uh, so hopefully it goes well I think I have my first subs subscriber it was my wife so <laughs> I think that was uh, fair enough to have her so hopefully I get more of those and hope everyone enjoys these too it's definitely something to be positive I think we live in a world where things are negative and especially in you know today's world and going through 2020 i think definitely having some positivity and have a little bit of fun i think that's uh, uh what we need in in today's world too so um and again keep keep safe keep running um and we'll see you next time